Capcom is pledging a ton of support for a Nintendo Switch. Now, they're not naming any games specifically, but this information comes from the CEO of the Tokyo-based game industry consultancy, Content Games, that's CEO.jp, otherwise known as Dr. Sirkin Toto. Uh, he is kind of sort of translating a future interview that's going to be published at the Nikkei, which is a Japanese publication, and he doesn't obviously provide you know the whole interview or any direct quotes, but he provides some information from the interview that is extremely exciting. So here's his tweet. Uh, in a new interview with the Nikkei, Capcom CEO Tujimoto just served up another Switch teaser. He says, the home plus portable console concept works better than expected and that Capcom wants to port games to the Switch that were not available on Nintendo consoles previously. So forget about the games that we expect from Capcom. We can expect the unexpected. Uh, what does that mean? Well, what kind of games are we talking about? Well, there's Resident Evil 7, never released on Nintendo. Granted, Resident Evil games have been on Nintendo before, so we're talking about franchises, sure, but, you know, whatever. Resident Evil 7, 7 we could talk about Devil May Cry uh, in HD collection would be fantastic, if we're being honest. Uh, I know we all want Monster Hunter Worlds. Uh, I doubt that's happening, but you never know. I know that Capcom probably regrets not including Nintendo with that game. Uh, I don't know if there's any contractual stuff holding it back. Uh, Dead Rising, another series, you know, Dead Rising 4. It would be nice to get maybe an Okami HD. I know Okami actually came out on a Nintendo system as well after PlayStation 2, so it would be great to get that game. Um, you know, Resident Evil 6 even would be nice. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. Uh, they, they just have a ton, you know, of, of you know, Dark Stalkers as an, example, as an example. Breath of Fire. I'm just going, kind of going through... Um, a, a list of stuff here, um, you know, Dino Crisis, and oh man, just going through. I, I'm literally looking at like this list of franchises and and just trying to pick up ones that that stand out to me. Uh, Devil May Cry is obviously a big one for me <clears throat> in terms of not releasing on Nintendo platforms in the past, but this is this is really good news. Um, and we know that Capcom had some. Input on the Switch before it came out. The Capcom is why the RAM was doubled in the Switch before release. But it, it felt weird that Nintendo obliged and then Capcom was kind of tepid supporting the platform. Uh, and, well, it's weird, you know, when he says the home plus portable console concept works better than expected. Uh, that phrasing could be viewed as a, really? How could you not know Nintendo gave you units to play around with? You knew how well it worked. Uh, but I think what they meant by that is it's more appealing than they expected. They don't, uh, they didn't say that, but what I am inferring from what they are saying here, it, they couldn't have been surprised how well it works in terms of being a portable console and a home console because they had dev units. They had input on the literal making of the system. They knew how well it worked. They just didn't know it was going to be widely accepted as a home console and a portable system and be hitting with the age demographic it's hitting with. So... All of that being said, we got to be pretty happy. Uh, we, I think one of the most disappointing things that happened at the Game Awards uh, were all these third-party game announcements that did not include Switch at the end of the trailer. Now, there were a bunch of third-party game announcements that didn't include any system at the end, so those could obviously come. There's also the fact that Nintendo likes to make a big deal out of getting these games. Uh, like Wolfenstein 2 when it was announced wasn't also announced for Switch until later when Nintendo announced it. So some of these games that, that aren't currently announced for Switch could still be announced for Switch, say, at the January Nintendo Direct or even E3. But, it, I don't know, Nintendo just kind of has, like... I guess it's not a bad thing to make a big deal. It just, it would be nice if not every third-party game was given that treatment. It would be cool to get third-party games announced for Switch day and date, same time it's announced for everyone else. But it is what it is. I guess it gives more attention to the game to Nintendo fans to announce it later. Um, but yeah, I, that was my one kind of caveat. And it, that's been kind of true of Capcom games. Like Capcom games, besides like Mega Man and such, were being announced and not having Switch included. Uh, so... This is good news, and this definitely bodes well for Nintendo on the whole. If Capcom's doing this, we know Square Enix has been a heavy supporter, uh, or plans to be a heavy supporter at least in 2018. 
I am heavily, heavily, heavily looking forward to other third-party companies deciding, you know what, we can't ignore Switch either. We need to hop on board. We need to bring games over to the platform that maybe Nintendo fans have never had or haven't had for decades. Uh, it's really been since the Super Nintendo uh, when Nintendo had full, un, you know, unadultered third-party support from all avenues of the industry. Uh, Switch still doesn't have that yet. Uh, Switch, you can argue Switch's third-party support still isn't technically any better than it was on Wii U yet in year one. But what is nice about what we're seeing in year one is that it looks like third-party support will be better than Wii U because it looks like we're going to get a ton of third-party support in year two that did not really exist for the Switch then. But I don't know. I'm excited about all of this. You guys let me know what you think about Capcom hopping on board and what Capcom game or franchise specifically you would like to see pop on over to the platform. Uh, personally, I, I'm all about that Resident Evil 7, and hopefully when they do make it, Resident Evil 8, uh, Monster Hunter World, and Dead Rising. Those are kind of like the big three I really want to see. Uh, Devil May Cry is obviously another big franchise that I've never played, so I suppose if it came over, uh, I would actually try it out. Uh, so let me know. What, which uh, Capcom game you want to see on the platform, whether it's one coming in the future or one that's already out now. Anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Ruffle Dance from Nintendo Prime, and if you like this video, you know what to do, and if you dislike the video, hit that dislike button, subscribe for more content, and I'll catch you in the next one.